We've all grown used to thinking of Earth as the blue planet. But not many people stop and ask the deeper question, why is there so much water in the first place? What made it so that 71% of our planet's surface is covered in oceans and seas? It's not an easy question to answer. These days, you could say the universe is absolutely overflowing with water. And that makes perfect sense, considering that the elements that make up water are among the most common in the cosmos. The idea that Earth's water came from space might actually be easier to picture than the alternative. After all, when the Earth was forming, it was a scorching hot ball of molten rock, not the kind of place that could hang on to liquid water. So, in such a hostile environment, it makes more sense to think that water came later, delivered from cooler regions farther out in space. So, if Earth's water came from somewhere else, it likely hitched a ride on comets or asteroids from the outer solar system, two to three times farther from the Sun than Earth is. If the external origin theory is right, then water from asteroids should have the same isotope ratio as the water in Earth's oceans. Halley's Comet had nearly twice as much deuterium as Earth's oceans. There's a major flaw in the external origin theory that we just can't ignore. It struggles to explain not only the sheer amount of water in Earth's hydrosphere, but especially the vast quantities hidden deep in the lithosphere and mantle. That means only about one-third of Earth's water is above ground, the rest is buried deep below. In the end, the truth about Earth's water probably lies somewhere between the external and internal origin theories.